While we have our teams load onto the field for the first of our playoff tournament matches, for those just coming into the door now and those tuning in online at twitch.tv, let's play our game animation to help explain a little bit more of what's going on on the field. Welcome to the 2020 First Robotics Competition and this year's game, Infinite Recharge. An incoming asteroid shower is aimed at Burst City. Using Alliance droids, planetary citizens collect and score power cells while traversing the trench run and boundaries to ensure maximum protection with an operational shield generator. Droids start on an initiation line and may be preloaded with up to three power cells. Droids operate autonomously during the first 15 seconds and attempt to score power cells into any of their three available power ports. While every power cell deposited adds equal charge to the shield generator, higher power ports earn more points. Drivers then control their droids for two minutes and 15 seconds of teleoperated time. Power cells are collected from one of the five chutes in the loading bay and then driven across the city to be scored in the low, outer, and inner ports. Droids must score the required number of power cells to activate sections of their shield generator and then either rotate their control panel a specified number of times or position it to a specific color. Near the end of the match, droids race to their rendezvous point to make their shield generator operational. Alliances are awarded bonus points for a level generator switch. The alliance that earns the most points wins the match. May the force be with us all.
robot fans in the stands and watching at home. Welcome to the quarterfinals of Plano. We have Alliance 1 on red versus Alliance 8 on blue. Each team needs two wins to move on to semis. So let's meet our teams. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 118. Sponsored by NASA Johnson Space Center from Clear Creek High School in League City, Texas, it's the Robonauts. Up next, their captain, 148. Sponsored by Innovation First International, L3 Harris from Greenville High School in Greenville, Texas, it's the Robo Wranglers. Completing their alliance, we have 7119. Sponsored by SCR Jobs for Progress National Incorporated from Sunset High School in Dallas, Texas, it's the Sunset Robo Bison. First up for our eighth alliance, we have 7535. Sponsored by Texas Workforce Commission, first in Texas and Uplift Summit International Preparatory from Arlington, Texas, it's Purple Poison. Up next, their captain, 6751. Sponsored by Texas Workforce Commission, SCR Jobs for Progress National from Sunset High School in Dallas, Texas, it's Robo Flash. Completing their alliance, we have 6526. Sponsored by Texas Instruments and Texas Workforce Commission from Naaman Forest High School in Garland, Texas, it's the Cyber Rangers. Drivers behind the lines. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Quarterfinal one, match number one. 118, first to shoot some power cells up high for the Red Alliance. Here comes 148's turn. Five going in by the 148 machine. Another three going in by the 118 machine. That's the end of the autonomous portion of our first quarterfinal match. 58 to 11, Red Alliance in the lead early on here. 118 sending a shot out into the crowd, but 148 coming in with a five for five cycle. Two minutes left here in quarterfinal one, match number one. Our number one alliance in red, our number eight alliance in blue. Blue alliance is 35, 30, 75 35, looking to pick up some power cells, coming over to play some defense on the Red Alliance of scores. There's a five for five cycle by 118. Here comes 148 trying to match it. All five going in, 10 power cells scored there in those two cycles. It's now 97 to 15 in favor of the Red Alliance. Minute and a half left to play. Robonauts line back up, another five for five cycle. Ringler's trying to get locked on as well. Two, three, two of them miss, another one going in. Here comes 118 to spin the color wheel over there on the front side of the field. Looking to see if we can get some extra points here. Red Alliance has completed two stages already. Looks like 118 cannot spin the color wheel at the moment. They're going back to refuel their partner, 148, sending another 5-for-5 five five cycle into the Red Alliance's power port. Here comes 75-35 for the Blue Alliance. Taking aim at the Blue Alliance's power port. All kinds of power cells behind the Blue Alliance's driver's station. Starting to flood the field over on the red scoring side of the field. 
148 and 118 starting to make very fast cycles here as we are at a 161 to 18 advantage for Red. A few more going in courtesy of the Robo Wranglers. That sound means we are in the final 30 seconds of quarterfinal one, match number one. 67-51 for the Blue Alliance. Looks like they are getting ready to climb here later on in the match. Waiting for their climber to deploy up. 118 and 148, both trying to hook onto the Red Alliance's switch. See if they can both climb. Up they go. Two Red Robots climbed and balanced. One second, and there's the buzzer on quarterfinal one, match number one. All right, scores for quarterfinal one, match one going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance winning, taking a one to nothing lead in this best of three series. 252 to 29. A new high score for this event. All right, so we are on to quarterfinal two of eight. First up on our red side of the field, we have Alliance four. On blue, we have Alliance five. First up for our red Alliance, we have 38-02. Sponsored by Prince of Peace Christian School and Big Frog of Plano from Prince of Peace Christian School in Carrollton, it's Robopop. And the Alliance captain, 54-31. Sponsored by Plano ISD Robotics, powered by Capital One. First in Texas and Best Buy from Plano ISD Academy High School in Plano. It's Titan Robotics in memory of Jordan Grant. Completing our Red Alliance, we have 73-19. From GISD Alternative Ed Center and Gilbert Reed Career and Technical Center from Garland, Texas, it's one up. Starting things off for our fifth alliance, we have 
4192. Sponsored by Apple, Lockheed Martin, and Texas Workforce Commission from Flower Mound High School in Flower Mound, Texas, it's Jaguar Robotics. And the captain, 6171. Sponsored by Chain Reaction Robotics, FRC 6171 in Plano ISD from Plano Senior High School, it's Chain Reaction. Completing this alliance, we have 7704. Sponsored by Dallas ISD STEM Department and Harzog Tech from Justin F. Kimball High School in Dallas. It's Kimball E-Tech at Mountain View College. Drivers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go. All right, underway here, quarterfinal two, match number one. Titan Robotics and Robopop quickly filling up that Red Alliance power port, as is Chain Reaction and Jaguar Robotics for the Blue Alliance. Couple more extra shots going in, courtesy of the Red Alliance. It's 55-41 in favor of the Red Alliance as we start the teleoperated portion of our second quarterfinal round. 54-31, looks like they could be having some bell problems with their intake. 73-19, crossing over through the rendezvous point, looking to go play some defense on the Blue Alliance's scores. Blue Alliance trying to climb back into this one. The number four seated alliance in red, the number five seated alliance in blue. This matchup always has upsets. 54-31 with a power cell stuck inside their intake, but their partner Robopop sending three power cells through the outer port for the Red Alliance. It's now 69-47 in favor of Red with a minute and a half left to go. Jaguar Robotics coming back over with another power cell in their possession, trying to get lined up to take a shot. Their partner Chain Reaction 61-71 making one, two, three shots for the Blue Alliance. It's now 74-53 as the Blue Alliance is trying to crawl their way back into this one. Coming up on just over a minute left, 74-53. Here comes Robopop through the trench for the Red Alliance, turning around to line up and take aim at that Red Alliance power port. Three going in, 74-04, knocking them off target. But back Robopop goes through the trench to refuel for the Red Alliance. Titan Robotics trying to do the same for Red. They're coming over to play some defense on the two Blue Alliance scores. Chain Reaction missing their shot short. It's 80 to 53 in favor of our number four seated Alliance in Red right now. Robopop looking to take another shot, but a power cell may be jammed in their shooter. That may take both Red Alliance scorers out of commission for the rest of the match. 26 seconds left to go. Robots can now begin climbing. Titan Robotics reaching up, 73-19, trying to get their climber up, having some trouble getting it deployed, but Jaguar Robotics, they're hooked on for the Blue Alliance. We'll see if 7704 can make it up. Oh, Titan Robotics falls off. That could be trouble if the Blue Alliance can get a climb. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, up goes 7704. Titan Robotics with the recovery as the buzzer rings on quarterfinal two, match number one.
All right, scores for quarterfinal two, match number one going up on the screen. And it's the Red Alliance winning this one. 110 to 65. Red Alliance taking a one to nothing lead in this best of three matchup. All right, we're going to welcome onto the field Alliance 2 in red and Alliance 7 in blue. First up on our red alliance, we have 54-14. Sponsored by NASA, BNY Mellon, and Texas Workforce Commission from Pearland High School and Glenda Dawson High School and Robert Turner College Career High School in Pearland, Texas, it's Paradox. Up next, the alliance captain, 66-72. Sponsored by Ronnie and Michael Morone, 77, Lockheed Martin and Dallas World Aquarium for Sersen Preparatory School in Irving, it's Fusion Core. Completing their alliance, they have 73-21. Sponsored by SER Jobs for Progress National Incorporated from Barbara Cardwell Career Prep in Irving, Texas, it's Aguila Robotica. First up on our Blue Alliance, we have 6655. Sponsored by our Texas Workforce Commission, Lockheed Martin and SCR Jobs for Progress National. From Sam Houston High School in Arlington, it's Texan Robotics. Up next, the Alliance captain, it's 5682. Sponsored by First in Texas, Texas Workforce Commission, and the Argosy Foundation from North Mesquite High School in Mesquite, Texas, it's Equus Engineering. Completing their alliance, we have 5212. Sponsored by University of North Texas and friends and family of Team 5212 from Texas Academy of Mathematics and Science in Denton, it's TAMS Formers Robotics. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here in quarterfinal three, match number one. Fusion Core and Paradox taking aim at that Red Alliance power port. Lots of power cells going in. 
by the Red Alliance. That now means we have reached the end of the autonomous portion of quarterfinal three, match one. 41-15, Red Alliance with an early lead. Fusion Core quickly reloading for the Red Alliance. 52-12, that is Tam's Formers Robotics looking to take aim at the Blue Alliance's low port, missing their shots, but Fusion Core making some for the Red Alliance. It's now 48-15 in favor of the Red Alliance. Fusion Core quickly reloads with four power cells, heading back, no, five power cells, heading back into the trench to get lined up and take some shots at that red power port. Paradox doing the same, lining up at the initiation line. Meanwhile, Equus Engineering 56-82, lining up for the Blue Alliance, trying to take some up-close shots. There it is, Fusion Core unleashing a volley of power cells on that red power port. Paradox trying to do the same, missing a couple, but making three. That now pushes the Red Alliance's lead to 62 to 15 with 75 seconds left to go. The Red Alliance, our number two seed. The Blue Alliance, our number seven seed. Blue trying to keep up with this very potent number two seeded alliance. Here comes Fusion Core. Four or five shots going in courtesy of Fusion Core. Paradox trying to get some more shots out of their robot. Having some trouble. Looks like there may be a jam later on in their hopper. Could be trouble for the Red Alliance. 50 seconds left to go, 70 to 15, Red in the lead. Fusion Core coming back over, picking up power cells on their scoring side of the field. Blue Alliance having to release those power cells out onto the field. There goes Fusion Core missing all of their shots on that last cycle, still remaining a 70 to 15 lead for the Red Alliance. We're now in the end game portion of quarterfinal three, match one. 73-21 reaching up, as is Paradox. It looks like we may have an attempted triple climb. All three red robots are hooked up. Fusion Core trying to climb. Up goes 73-21. Not sure if it's balanced. Robots swinging from the Red Alliance's switch. Looks like it's starting to balance back out here. As the buzzer rings on quarterfinal three, match number one. All right, scores for quarterfinal three, match one going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 160 to 26. A 90 point end game for the Red Alliance who takes a one to nothing lead in this best of three series. We are moving on to 
quarterfinal four with Alliance three on red and Alliance six on blue. Let's meet our teams. First up for our red alliance, we have 80-55. A community team from Frisco, it's the Boss Bots. Up next, the alliance captain, 33-55. Sponsored by First in Texas veteran team grant, Texas Workforce Commission, from Uplift Summit International Prep in Arlington, it's Purple Vipers. Completing our red alliance, we have 75-06. Sponsored by Texas Workforce Commission, Lockheed Martin and SCR Jobs for Progress National Incorporated from Arlington ISD, Dan Dipper Career Technical Center, it's Wild Cards. Over on our blue alliance, we have 1745. Sponsored by the Boeing Company, Dell and Texas Workforce Commission from Pierce High School in Richardson, it's the P-51 Mustangs. Up next, the Alliance Captain, 7503. Sponsored by NASA, Call em All, and Port of Perry Perry from Frisco, Texas, it's Rata Cubs. Completing this alliance, we have 6369. Sponsored by Emerson Process Management, Best Buy McKinney and Texas Instruments. From McKinney, Texas, it's Mercenary Robotics. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Quarterfinal four, match number one, Boss Bots and 33-55 quickly taking aim at that Red Alliance power port. P-51 Mustangs and Mercenary Robotics doing the same for the Blue Alliance. Lots of power cells being scored here in the autonomous portion of quarterfinal four, match one. Early on here, it's a 35-31 to 31 lead for the Red Alliance. Here comes 7506 for the Red Alliance, slowly feeding power cells up into their shooter. Meanwhile, their partner, the Boss Bots in 3355, both trying to get in position to shoot for themselves. Red Alliance trying to maintain this lead that they have built up here from the autonomous period of this match. 4333 is the score. Red Alliance hanging on to a 10 point lead. Here comes 7503, sending a couple power cells up high, trying to close that gap. It's now a five-point lead for the Red Alliance. 33-55 coming over to try and play some defense on the Rata Cubs out of Frisco. Meanwhile, the other Frisco machine, the Boss Bots, taking aim at the Red Alliance's power port. Another one going in, and it's now a 56-38 lead for Red. Blue Alliance trying to catch up, but all of 1745 shots end up going short or wide of the power port. Here comes Mercenary Robotics trying to take some shots at the Blue Alliance's power port. 16 point lead for the Red Alliance right now, 56 to 40, with just over a minute left to play. Here comes Boss Bots trying to get lined back up in the trench on the near side of the field. Spinning up their shooter, one. Can they make it another? It looks like they may have a jam inside their shooter. Mercenary sending a shot up high for the Blue Alliance. Blue now trailing 62 to 40 with 45 seconds left to play. Getting close to the end game portion of quarterfinal four, match number one. See if we're going to have any robots try and climb. Blue Alliance could swing this one in their favor with some well-timed climbs here as we are now in the end game portion of quarterfinal four. Match number one, 64-40 is our score before any climbs. Looks like we might be done with power cell scoring for the match. Up goes P-51 Mustangs for blue. That could steal this one. Boss bots are hooked on. They're trying to climb. 7506 trying to do the same. We have two red robots balanced. We'll see if we can get a second blue robot ba balance. They're going up. And we have four robots hanging here with three seconds remaining in quarterfinal four, match number one. And a last second park by 7503 as the buzzer rings on quarterfinal four, match number one.
All right, scores going up on the screen for quarterfinal four, match number one. And it's the Red Alliance winning this one. Final score, 129 to 101. Red Alliance taking a one to nothing lead in this best of three matchup. Let's welcome back onto the field, Alliance One in red for the Alliance Eight in blue. Alliance One has a win. Alliance Eight needs a win to keep playing. And we will meet our teams. First up, we have One Eight Team. From League City, Texas, it's the Robonauts. And the captain, One Forty Eight. From Greenville, Texas, it's the Robo Wranglers. Completing this alliance, we have 7119. From Dallas, it's Sunset Robo Bison. Over on our blue alliance to start things off, we have 7535. From Arlington, it's Purple Poison. Up next, the captain, 6751. From Dallas, it's Robo Flash. Completing this alliance, we have 6526. From Garland, it's Cyber Rangers. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Quarter final one, match number two. 148 stealing some power cells from the Blue Alliance's trench, sending all five into the Red Alliance's power port. 118 sending another three from their trench. And it looks like out of the gate, we're going to have a 65 to 11 lead for the Red Alliance as drivers take control of their robots. Another volley of five, no, five power cells from 148 and 118. Both robots now heading back over to the Blue Alliance scoring side of the field to steal power cells and reload from their feeder. Meanwhile, 75-35 trying to take aim at that Blue Alliance power port. 
Red Alliance slowly but steadily incrementing their score. It's now 84 to 11 with 100 seconds left to play in quarterfinal one, match number two. 118 quickly gobbling up some power cells, heading back through the trench for the Red Alliance. 148 grabbing some power cells from their scoring side of the field. 118 sending a volley of five in. Two more shots going in courtesy of 148. And there goes the color wheel. See if we can get this color wheel spun up for the first time here in North Texas. Looks like we got it. And now stage three is activated. 20 more power cells to be scored. And the Red Alliance will get an additional opportunity to spin that color wheel. 148 coming up to grab more power cells. 118 looking for some more. Blue Alliance having to feed those power cells out onto their scoring, onto the Red Alliance, the scoring side of the field, making for some quick cycles. 148 going two for five on their last cycle. Blue Alliance sending all their robots over to play some defense on these two very potent scoring machines. 141 to 20, Red Alliance in the lead with 39 seconds left to go. 148's loaded up with another cycle of power cells, trying to get locked onto that power port. All five going in. Only 11, no, eight more, seven more needed in order to complete their third stage. Here comes 118, sending another volley in. We might have three complete stages, and there it is, three complete stages. We need a green color wheel now with 13 seconds left to go. Waiting for that color wheel to get to green. See if we can get them hooked on here. 148 has climbed. We have a green color wheel possibly. Oh, some contact by 35, 30, 75, 35 as the buzzer rings here in quarterfinal one, match number two.
All right, scores for quarterfinal one, match number two going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance moving on to the semifinals, 252 to 35. Let's hear it for our number eight seeded Alliance team, 75-35 Purple Poison, 67-51 Robo Flash, and 65-26 Cyber Rangers for a valiant effort here in the quarterfinals. All right, Plato, I'm back. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's ready for this next match because here on the Red Alliance we have 3802. From Prince of, Peace, Prince of Peace Christian School in Carrollton, it's Robopop. The captains of the Red Alliance, Team 5431. From Plano ISD Academy High School, it's Titan Robotics. And I love, oh, sorry. And I love their flag, by the way. Um, Following on suit, we have Team 7319. From the GIC Alternative Ed Center, it's one up. Across on the, red on the blue alliance, we have Team 4192. From Flower Mound High School, it's Jaguar Robotics. Joining them on the blue alliance, we have 6171! From right here at Plano Senior High School, it's Chain Reaction. And last but not least on the Blue Alliance is Team 7704! From Justin F. Kimball High School, it's Kimball E Tech at Mountain View College. All right, we have green lights and thumbs up down here on the field. Let's get this party started. Three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Quarterfinal two, match number two. Quickly, Red Alliance scoring some power cells up high. Blue Alliance doing the same. Red Alliance scoring five power cells. Blue Alliance scoring six. And out of the gate, it's going to be a 45-41 lead for the Blue Alliance. As drivers take control of their machine, 73-19, sending a couple shots out, but none of them going in to the Red Alliance's power port. Meanwhile, Titan Robotics trying to get lined up. They had some shooting problems in their last match. Up goes a whole volley of power cells by both 3802 and 5431, as Red now taking a 56-45 lead with over a minute and a half left to play. 77-04, the Blue Alliance trying to work their way over to play some defense on these two Red Alliance scores. Both of them very potent. Meanwhile, 41-92 for the Blue Alliance, missing a couple shots short for their power port. 69-50 with less than a minute and a half left to play. Red Alliance sending one power cell in, but there goes Titan Robotics with four power cells, quickly collecting up some more. Trying to find their sweet spot again. Here comes 3802 through the trench, lining back up. One going in, two, three, four. And a whole another volley of five going in by 5431. And it's now an 85 to 52 lead for the Red Alliance with one minute left to play. 4192 crossing through the Blue Alliance's trench run, lining up against the Blue Alliance's power port, looking to take aim, spinning up their shooter. One shot going in, a second. See if they can get that third one in. It goes up and in. Here comes Chain Reaction. They're trying to do the same as Jaguar. Sending two shots in. 
as the Blue Alliance now trails 109 to 62 with 33 seconds left to go. 77-04, they're gonna try and climb for the Blue Alliance as we enter the end game portion of quarterfinal two, match two. Red Alliance up one to nothing. A win sends them to the semis. Blue Alliance, if they win, they move on to the tiebreaker round here in quarterfinal two. Jaguar Robotics making a couple more shots for Blue. 54-31 trying to climb again, having trouble getting up for the Red Alliance. They had a quick recovery in their first quarterfinal match. Doesn't look like it's going to happen as the buzzer rings on quarterfinal two, match two. All right, scores for quarterfinal two, match two going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance winning final score, 135 to 116. Red Alliance moving on to the semifinals. Let's hear it for our number five seeded Blue Alliance. Team 6655, Texan Robotics, 5682, Equus Engineering, and 5212, Tams Formers Robotics for a valiant effort here in the quarterfinals. Let's welcome back onto the field Alliance 2 on red and Alliance 7 on blue. The Red Alliance has a win. The Blue Alliance needs a win to keep playing. Let's meet our teams. First up on our Red Alliance, we have 54-14. Representing Parallel, Texas, it's Paradox. And the captain, 6672. From Irving, Texas, it's Fusion Core. Completing our Red Alliance, we have 7321. Aguila Robotica from Barbara Cardwell Career Prep. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 6655. From Arlington, it's Texan Robotics. On up next, the captain, we have 5682. Equus Engineering from Mesquite, Texas. Completing this alliance, we have 5212. Tams Formers Robotics from Denton.
Drivers behind the line. We'll start in three, two, one, go. All right, we are underway here. Quarterfinal three, match number two. Paradox and Fusion Core both taking aim at the Red Alliance's power port. Helping fill that power port up with power cells. 130, 135 seconds of driver control left. 39 to 15, Red Alliance in the lead. Fusion Core quickly scooping up power cells, looking to line up inside the Red Alliance's trench, looking to take aim at the Red Alliance's power port. Two shots going in, four other five shots going in. Paradox trying to find an opening around Equus Engineering, playing some stiff defense on the Perlin machine. 47 17, Red Alliance in the lead now. Paradox. Missing a couple shots for the Red Alliance. They're back looking for some more power cells. Here comes their partner, Fusion Core. Looking to line up in the Red Alliance's trench and take aim at that red power port. Waiting to spin up that shooter. Meanwhile, Blue Alliance is 52-12 heading over to the Blue Alliance's low port. Dropping in some one-pointers down low. 55-20 is the score in favor of the Red Alliance with 74 seconds left. 66-55, slowly working their way through the rendezvous point for the Blue Alliance. 66-72, scooping up more power cells now. Perlin already loaded back up, trying to find their spot in front of the Red Alliance's power port. Getting knocked off by Equus Engineering. Up goes Perlin, making a couple shots. Their partner, Fusion Core, doing the same. 61-20, Red Alliance in the lead with 45 seconds left. Tams former scoring a couple more one-pointers down low for Blue. 40 seconds left, and it's a 61-22 lead for the Red Alliance. Here comes Pearland looking to score some more power cells. One shot misses, two going in. That now means we're in the final 30 seconds of quarterfinal three, match number two. 54-14, looks like they're going to try and climb. 66-72. They're going to try and do the same. We might have two hanging red robots. Fusion Core is hooked on. So is Paradox. Paradox trying to climb with Fusion Core. Up they go. Looks like the red switch may be balanced. Fusion Core shooting some power cells out of their robot as we have two blue robots parking as the buzzer rings on quarterfinal three, match two. All right, scores for quarterfinal three. Match number two going up on the screen. And it is the Red Alliance moving on to the semifinals. Final score, 132 to 30. Let's hear it for our number seven seeded Blue Alliance team, 66-55, Texan Robotics team, 56-82, Equus Engineering and team, 52-12, Tams Formers Robotics for a valiant effort here in the quarterfinals.
Let's welcome back to the field Alliance 3 on red with Alliance 6 on blue. Our red alliance has a win. Our blue alliance needs a win to keep playing. Let's meet our teams. First up for our red alliance, we have 8055. Boss Bots out of Frisco, Texas. And our alliance captain, it's 3355. From Uplift Summit International Prep, it's Purple Vipers. Completing our red alliance, we have 7506. From Arlington, it's Wild Cards. Over on our Blue Alliance, we have 1745. From Richardson, it's the P51 Mustangs. And our captain, 7503. Sponsored by Call em All, it's the Radicubs. Completing our Blue Alliance, we have 6369. Mercenary Robotics from McKinney, Texas. Drivers behind the lines in three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Quarterfinal four, match number two. Red Alliance with a one to nothing lead. Quickly filling up the Red Alliance's power port. Blue Alliance not to be outdone. Sending all kinds of power cells through the Blue Alliance's power port. It's a two point lead for the Red Alliance at the start of Teleop, 45-43. 80-55 quickly collecting some power cells for the Red Alliance. Looking to take aim at that Red Alliance power port. Been one of the more effective shooters here at the Plano District event. Meanwhile, Mercenary Robotics for the Blue Alliance trying to keep up with the Red Alliance. Looks like they're having some problems getting power cells through their shooter. 33-55 trying to block him out. Tall Robot versus a very low short shooter. Meanwhile, here comes the P-51 Mustangs of the Blue Alliance pushing through the defense, trying to get close to that Blue Alliance power port. Boss Bot still continuing to load up power cells for the Red Alliance. It's 56-43 in favor of Red right now with just under a minute and a half left. There goes 17-45. Two inner port shots closes the gap for the Blue Alliance a little bit. 56-48 now. Red in the lead. 1745 pushing 3355 up in to the Blue Alliance's protected zone. Trying to draw those fouls. Blue Alliance taking the lead. 6356 now. 1745 missing their shots. Red Alliance in desperate need of some more scoring here as they are falling behind with less than a minute left. If Blue Alliance hangs on to this lead, they will force a rubber match in semifinal number four or quarterfinal number four. Boss bots with some a power cell in their possession, working their way back through the middle of the field. Looks like they were having some trouble hanging on to the power cells in their hopper. Meanwhile, 63-69, trying to take aim at that Blue Alliance power port, waiting to climb. Climbs are gonna be huge in this match. Red Alliance could steal this one with some climbs. Blue Alliance trying to seal the victory. P51 going up for Blue. They want to make sure they get those climb points. Mercenary trying to go up for the Blue Alliance as well. 7506 hook is hooked up. Looks like boss bots aren't going to make it up. Up goes 7506. We'll see if Mercenary can climb and seal this one for the Blue Alliance. Looks like we may have a six over three upset here in quarterfinal four, match number two.
All right, scores for quarterfinal four, match number two going up on the screen. And it is the Blue Alliance forcing a tiebreaker. Final score, 113 to 91. We're going to take a six-minute field timeout and then play quarterfinal four, match number three.
So traditionally, when there are Traditionally, when there are back-to-back -back matches for teams, there is a field timeout for six minutes, which has happened. However, Alliance 3 has also called a timeout. So we will wait a little bit longer before we start the match.